I'm Tara Bradner, and this is Hopeful Hints, an infertility podcast where you will receive quick, hopeful hints to guide you through infertility. Here, you will find education, inspiration, and most importantly, find peace as you walk through this journey to fulfill your family vision. Welcome to Hopeful Hints. I'm your host, Dr. Tara Bradner. And today we are going to be talking about infertility and the holidays. We all know that this is an extra layer of stress that happens this time of year for some. If you follow me on social media, you saw on Thanksgiving, I posted something really special that I felt was a way for me to give back to the community. And that is access to my personal cell phone. So if you find yourself in a situation that's triggering you have the ability to call or text me, and I'm going to keep this offer going through January. This is to ensure that you have support and an outlet and a resource if you find yourself in a difficult time. Consider it a lifeline to use day or night during the holiday get-togethers. In today's show notes, I put the link for you to click and get access to my cell phone number so you can keep it handy this entire holiday season. Please remember you are not alone. I want to begin by validating your feelings. You are allowed to put your needs first, and there's no reason you need to explain this to anyone. I hear this saying, and I think it's really fitting, but it goes like this. You can be sad for you and happy for them at the same time. I think of this often when looking at pregnancy announcements and things like that that are triggering for me. It does not make you selfish. Going through infertility is extremely challenging and presents so many different emotions. I want to share a few hopeful hints for you to keep in mind this holiday season. I want you to pick and choose which events you accept invitations to when it comes to parties and holiday celebrations. One of the best tips I ever received was arrive late and leave early. This allows you to still be present at the event but leave or arrive in your own time. Or this may be the year that you and your spouse book a mini getaway and go just be together with the two of you and meet with family at different times in the year. Another tip before you go, have some phrases ready to respond to those dreaded comments. It can be as simple as, that's a personal question that we are not talking about. How have you been? And flip the conversation. Or if you are comfortable, this is an opportunity to share with them about your diagnosis of infertility and possibly even educate them more about it and what not to say. Now more than ever is the time for you to create or lean into your support system. This may look different for everyone, but for some it may be your family and friends who know about your situation and support you. Message them more, call them more, get together more this time of year. For others, it may be attending a support group, speaking with your trying to conceive sisters that you've connected with on social media, or connect with a coach. Having a coach on your team, especially this time of year, is truly an invaluable resource. Another tip is if you typically host or play a role in planning a holiday event, step back from that this year. Avoid taking on extra tasks and schedule more downtime, especially if you're going through infertility treatments. Spend less time on social media. There's going to be a lot of elf on the shelf pictures, Christmas concerts, children pictures, you name it. There's going to be an overwhelming amount of them. You can also snooze Facebook accounts for 30 days, which I have found really helpful. Another tip that I found helpful is to sneak away to the bathroom, bedroom, or some private area and have a good cry or just take a moment alone to regroup. Run that water in the bathroom to cover up any crying or better yet, when this happens, now is the time to leave the event and that's okay. I want to remind you again, if you find yourself in one of these situations or you just need extra support, please utilize my personal cell phone number that I've located in today's show notes and lean into me. I am here to help you through the holiday season and beyond. If you enjoyed today's show, please head over and hit subscribe or leave a review for Hopeful Hints and Infertility Podcasts. Thank you so much for listening and we'll see you back here next week, Tuesday.